Lizards, like many other animals, have the ability to detach or break off their tails as a defense mechanism to escape predators. This process is known as autotomy, and it is a common adaptation among lizards and other reptiles. While it may seem painful, research suggests that the process of tail autotomy does not cause pain to the lizard. In this video, I will explain the mechanism of tail autotomy in lizards, the science behind why it is not painful, and other animals that are known to amputate parts of their bodies. Mechanism of Tail Autotomy in Lizards The process of tail autotomy is a complex one that involves the lizard's nervous system, muscles, and skeletal structure. When a lizard feels threatened by a predator, it will activate a series of muscles located in the base of its tail. These muscles contract, which causes the tail to break off at a specific point known as the tail autotomy plane. Once the tail has been detached, the lizard is free to escape, while the predator is left with a wriggling tail that distracts it and allows the lizard to get away. Why Tail Autotomy is not painful for lizards Despite the fact that the tail contains many nerves and blood vessels, research has shown that tail autotomy is not a painful process for lizards. One study conducted on green and old lizards found that the process of tail autotomy did not activate pain receptors in the lizard's spinal cord. This suggests that lizards are able to detach their tails without feeling pain. Additionally, the muscle contractions that cause the tail to break off also stimulate the release of a chemical called adenosine, which has pain-relieving properties. This chemical helps to numb any potential pain that might be caused by the process of tail autotomy. What happens after tail autotomy? Once a lizard has detached its tail, a few things happen. First, the tail will continue to wriggle and twitch for several minutes, which can serve as a distraction for the predator. Additionally, the tail will continue to grow back over time. The process of tail regeneration involves the growth of new tissues, including muscle, bone, and skin. While the regenerated tail may not be an exact replica of the original, it will still provide the lizard with many of the same functions, including balance and communication. Other Animals That Amputate Parts Of Their Bodies Lizards are not the only animals that are capable of self-amputation. In fact, there are many animals that have evolved the ability to detach or break off parts of their bodies as a defense mechanism. Some examples include 1. Octopuses Some species of octopus are able to detach their arms as a way to escape predators. These arms can grow back over time. 2. Crustaceans some species of crustaceans, such as crabs and lobsters, are able to detach their claws if they feel threatened. These claws will regenerate over time. 3. Sea cucumbers Sea cucumbers are able to eject their internal organs as a way to distract predators. These organs will eventually regenerate. In conclusion, tail autotomy is a fascinating adaptation that allows lizards to escape predators without experiencing pain. The process involves a complex interaction between the lizard's nervous system, muscles, and skeletal structure, and it results in the detachment of the tail at a specific point. While the detached tail may continue to twitch for a few minutes, it will eventually grow back over time, providing the lizard with many of the same functions as the original tail. Other animals, including octopuses, crustaceans, and sea cucumbers, have also evolved the ability to amputate parts of their bodies as a defense mechanism. Subscribing and liking the video are a great help thanks for watching.